when we bought this building, it was pink, it was overgrown with landscaping. So for the last two months, we've been working very hard with our contractor to clean it up, get rid of all the overgrown brush, install French drain, paint the building. Again, it was a pink color before we painted it. We added some gravel on this side. We cut in some uh, dock doors and driving doors on the sides of the building to create access for trucks. Fix the roof, install new HVAC. I again, install all new LED lighting on the inside. By doing all of this, you know, of course, we attract new tenants. We're probably gonna lease it for nine bucks a square foot which are gonna triple the value from what we paid for it. About, you know, $150,000 in CapEx, we've uh, able to create significant amount of equity and value. This was not here, this ramp. We've installed it, graded it, uh, opened up the wall to add the one drive-in and one dock. And now we can rent it to a variety of different tenants. We had quite a few things we needed to do. This is a metal-sided building that's had foam insulation and then stucco coating put on the outside. Some people call it EFAS. It was not in good condition. We had to point all of that up and do quite a bit of repairs there. And then ultimately what's finishing today is it had to be repainted to get rid of the unattractive colors that were here before. This used to be just like a walk-up set of paddock doors. We added a door here. We've had to repair and restart the three-ton heat pump for the warehouse. The one ton that coincides with it for the office had been stolen. So we had to replace that, that was done. All the electrical in this building is essentially new because it wasn't wired right. It was wired like two-phase wiring, not three-phase wiring. So there were some actual fire hazards in the walls in this building and everything had to be rewired. We've added a door here to make this break room area a little bit more private for if there's something going on in our warehouse here. There used to be a room here. So we took out the wall, the electrical, the heating and air. We took all that out. We moved the heating and air, repurposed it so that the break room is heated and air conditioned as part of the office space. All of the office will have new hardware. It's all okay. brushed nickel. And then the, 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 the bathrooms and the break room off the warehouse will have existing hardware. The concrete has been refinished. Yeah, this nice. had glue, tile mastic, and paint on it. It took up a $5,000 concrete refinishing machine in 14 and a half hours to do this. But this is ready for anything that needs to go down based on the tenant's desire from carpet to tile, LVP, VCT, or even just a concrete stain. This is ready to go. We took down the panels, we added the sheet rock instead. Yeah, about replaced the ceiling so. grid, replaced all the lights with LED. Uh, so again, gotta kind of get it to a warm vanilla shell. So it's ready for a tenant move in and then uh, the tenant can choose their own flooring. But that's what we see demand right now in the Flex. The, the, the most properties that are seem to be highest in demand is a couple offices in the front, which here we got three offices, the bathroom and the kitchen, a break room, and then a warehouse in the back. So maybe just a small a thousand square feet office and then you know the rest of the space is warehouse.